Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use toilet paper rolls to reconstruct your Briar model drastic custom. So in this video, I am using a traditional Clydesdale mare, and I chopped her into a bunch of pieces to recreate her into a trotting draft. So when you have all the pieces together, it's really hard to reattach all of the parts because going from a standing position to a trotting position requires so much shoulder and hip rotation. It's just easier to cut the model up. The easiest way I've found to reattach everything is with toilet paper rolls. <laughs> They're just consistency in size and the cardboard really is good with hot glue. So I'm just gonna stuff the barrel of this horse with two toilet paper rolls so that it creates a firm working surface. And then I can just use hot glue to reattach those hip joints and shoulder joints to the model in the proper orientation. If you're having a spot that's a little tricky or you need more reinforcement, I would recommend using super glue because hot glue is not foolproof in the scheme of customizing. But this seems to work pretty well with just getting the general shape going. And this is just way easier than trying to stuff tinfoil in there or trying to use wire to reattach everything. I've just found this super easy and everybody's got toilet paper rolls in their house. So uh, here I'm just attaching all of the body parts to the model in its reorientated state leaving gaps where I see fit in the trotting position based on my reference photo. So here you can see that the model stands well attached with just the hot glue. Obviously I've used wire and super glue for the feet and some of the leg reattachments as well as the head. I have separate tutorials on this. I will link some of those in the description below. But it also works as amazing filler for adding your tin foil in the model. I found that tin foil is really frustrating and often you'll stuff it into the horse and it'll just go to the back end of it and be in a ball that just rattles inside. So if you have a base foundation of the toilet paper roll already in there, adding tin foil to those creases is super easy. So here she is all stuffed with tin foil. If you recall my recent drastic custom Bacillus as well, he was stuffed originally with toilet paper rolls. To reconstruct his position from a trotting shire to a standing spotted draft and that worked really really well. This also adds a lightness to the model so that you're not stuffing the whole thing with epoxy. Very useful filler for the inside of your drastic customs. Thank you so much for watching and happy customizing. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my newsletter to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.